winter. It used to be my favorite season. No longer the case anymore after this past year's snow apocalypse, snow begeden, or for our Catholic audience, snow eschatology or esnocatology. Why I used to love winter? Perhaps it was youthful memories of constructing angels and men from this cold yet malleable substance that just freely floated from the heavens. On these such days, we instantly became architects. Kings of mountains, reckless warriors with unlimited ammunition that never really hurt, but just stung or cooled the face. It was a time when snowflakes were not just cold, frozen raindrops, but they represented beauty and individualism, community, grace, and elegance. None were alike tasty treats for the tongue than the tummy. Now I think I'm officially an old person. One of those people growing up who I never thought I would actually become, who didn't like it when it snowed, or complained about shoveling, skidding, slickness, and sleep. It came quicker than I expected, thanks to S. Snow Catology 2011. Now I'm sure snow and winter will one day find favor again, likely on hot days in the summer, as my pale Irish skin cringes at sun rays and prays for days like today. And I guess that's what you have to hold on to in life. Look for the peaks when in the valleys, the light when all is dark, knowing faith is on the horizon even when in the deepest of despair. So if you're in New England, or the Midwest, Northwestern Canada, Central Canada, the Mid-Atlantic, or really anywhere that has been completely whitened and frozen during this trying, cold, heavy winter, buck up. Spring is nearby. And to all of you who have no clue what I'm talking about because you live in the Caribbean and stream Catholic TV live while sipping grapefruit juices and cabanas on white sand beaches near clear blue waters, continue to live the good life so that I may too, vicariously.